what we're looking at here is a linear weld into a radial into a linear. And again, Matt is creating a new part, giving it a name. Um, he'll go in again, put in the parameters. You notice that we use sliders. We're not using, you know, just manually enter. We're using things that people, quite common to people. Um, and uh, easy to use, easy to understand by all people. So now he's going to go in to make this part. Sets his phone down, grabs the robot, same as before. You see linear weld, comes in. You notice he's not adding approach positions or away positions. We automatically put those in for you. Uh, and uh, you can add any more air cut moves as you need to get around to where you need to be, but we automatically add those things in uh, to save you time. So he's added his point. He's going to add his next point. So he stores his next point. Comes in. Those were two linears. And so now he simply switches to a radial and continues adding points one after another. And he's not adding points in. Now, if you happen to want to change parameters on a per point basis, you're perfectly capable of doing that. Um, we can change parameters in the middle of a weld if necessary. Most of the time that is not necessary. Most of the time you're welding the same material, your parameters don't change. So in this case, your welder will be able to simply learn how to push buttons on a robot and move it around. And that is the important factor. And so he's back to the linear weld. I believe he's on his last position here. Puts his air cup move in, doesn't touch the software. He's got his air cup move in, brings it back out of the way. And in this case, we dry run the program. So what he does now, and, and there you see all the welding points in there. And you notice that that program doesn't look intimidating like a lot of the other programs that you see out there. This looks like an app. So he's got a key switch on the cell, which flips it into no weld, just a global key switch that turns welding off. And away the robot goes. Okay, So if he struck an arc there, knowing that the parameters were good, he would have put a complex weld in in less than two minutes. In this case, we dry run, and then we weld up the part. So on the do more side, we view do more as making parts and making production. This isn't about our brilliance. It's not about us coming in and proving to you how much we know about automation and welding and that we're the experts. We myopically look at what it is that you're doing and we reduce the activities that don't make you money, that don't drive you to production. And so what you see here is activities that only drive to making parts, that only drive to making money. When that arc is on, you're making money. And so um, I hope that you have seen something here in how the programming is done and um, in that whole methodology of keeping your hands on the robot, reducing activities that don't um, drive you to that uh, arc on and making money. And that's how we define do more.